What's going on guys? It's Steve. Again, unfortunately without Susanna, you're just getting Steve by himself today. Let me move, move my umbrella. Guess where I am? I'm out at Disney Springs again. Beautiful, lovely Disney Springs. What do we got over our shoulder? We've got paddlefish, we've got T-Rex. Everything's coming online. More and more establishments, locations are opening here at Disney Springs, which is so exciting and super, super cool. Speaking of that, uh, one of my absolute, well, I'm trying to figure out how to close this umbrella. One of my absolute favorite, hold on, almost got it. There we go. One of my absolute favorite places to go here at Disney Springs reopened today. And guys, I talk about it so much, so y'all might already know what that is, but Goofy Candy Company. Candy apples are back, baby. Oh, yeah, we got candy apples back. So um, I had to run out to this side of town, and I said, you know what? I'm going to stop at Disney Springs. I'm going to get a candy apple for me and the old lady, me and Susanna. And um, I think I'm also going to go ahead and get a Blaze pizza and maybe a deluxe burger to take home. So I'm going to do a little takeout. But either way, want to head into Goofy Candy Company? I guess I'll just bring you guys along with me and y'all can check out all the goodies. And then after that, I'm going to head down and get a Blaze pizza to go and a deluxe burger. But yeah, a lot of places open today. Oh my gosh, Orlando Lightning is in full effect right now. Woo, it's always creepy. Um, uh, Disney style reopened today, happily ever after reopened today. So I don't know. I mean, I think a majority, if not everything, is pretty much reopening here at Disney Springs. So yeah, today was a big reopening day, but let's head inside Goofy Candy Company. Let's go get a candy apple and let's take a look at all the goodies and let's get off the water. I'll leave the camera running. You guys can just kind of soak it in a little bit. A little Orlando action. It's dead, by the way. I will say that it is absolutely dead. The weather's not... The most ideal weather, I guess, for an afternoon or an evening at Disney Springs, but you know what? I kind of like it like this. So I know it's bad, for, you know, in the sense that nobody's here, but you know, sometimes it's kind of nice just to take advantage of it and enjoy it. Oh, and I forgot, Disney Days of Christmas is open. Maybe we'll head in there too real quick and just kind of glance around for a second. I don't want to stay out too late. I'm trying to get back home, trying to get back to Susanna and the baby, little baby Marie, but, um. Oh, something smells good. I believe that's Aristocrapes. Yeah, Aristocrapes. Mmm, smelled very good walking by it. But anyway, let's head inside of a Goofy's Candy Company and let's go get ourselves a yummy, yummy, yummy candy apple. Um, yeah, the weather down here though is, it's it's pretty rainy, it's pretty stormy, uh, still rocking masks. You know, one thing I have noticed more and more, not just at Disney, but just in general in the Orlando area, and I think it's a Florida thing, but less and less and less people are wearing masks off of Disney property. And I think within Disney property, you're starting to see it more. I see, you know, more people maybe not wearing masks or wearing them below the nose, which is kind of, ex I don't know, maybe it's just a Florida thing. But anyway, let's head inside. And here we go. Let's see what's going on. Right, before I go into that, I will close again my umbrella. This has got to be one of the trickiest umbrellas to close. I'll slip this on the wrist. Make sure that it is out of the way. All right, let's head inside. Hello. How are you? Good. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, it smells so good. I smell all the sugar and the sweets and the... All of the jelly beans. Oh, I've missed coming in here so much. I'm sure you guys have missed it too. Let's just have to take a look around. Candy apples, that's what we're here for. And they've got them. <sighs> Everything is kind of stocked up and showing. Let's, let's see what we've got. What flavor do we want? Please stand here. Make sure we're respecting the social distancing. It's always a little confusing, but please stand here is where we want to be. So, hi buddy, how are you? Um, I guess, I'll do one of these. Is that, that's chocolate caramel? Yeah, it's caramel apple dipped in milk chocolate. Beautiful, that's the one, yep, uh-huh. Oh, is this one peanut butter too? Those are peanut butter chips, or M&M's. We'll just do that one, that'll be fine. Fantastic. Looks so good. Alrighty, and just like that, we got a candy apple. Very, very cool. Good to see Goofy Candy Company open. 
Disney days of Christmas. You guys want to just walk through it real fast? All right, it's going to be a really, 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 really quick walk through because I got to get some food and head home. But here, it's open. Let's let's peek inside, see if there's anything interesting. One thing I did notice is like you know the obviously by Goofy Candy, like there's your entrance exit to this side. You can't come and go. Everything's flowing in one way or the other. I assume it's going to be the same thing here. And this side says enter. So let's head inside. It's Christmas time. Very, very exciting. Here we go. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thank you. And it's open. Oh, it feels so good to be back in here. Oh. Susanna's gonna kill me that I came here without her. Honey, this is for you too though. You can watch the video when I get home. Wow. So normally here is where they were personalizing the ornaments. So it makes me wonder, maybe they're not personalizing ornaments right now. I will ask and figure that out. Hello. Very, very cool. Let's just do a little walkthrough. Let you guys just take a look. I know it's kind of hard to see some of these smaller ones. Well, be Christmas time. I'm just, I'm like ready to jump back to Christmas. I don't know, 2020 has been such a rough year for everybody, except we had a baby. So it's actually been a great year for us, but for most people, it's been a rough year. I'm just like ready to jump to Christmas. Very cool. Store's empty by the way. And I think that it has to do with, it's a little bit later. It's a time of day. It's raining outside. Just looking to see if anything jumps out, all the princess ornaments. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do this video, guys, the same way I did the World of Disney video. I didn't really edit too much, just let it be a continuous stream almost. So enjoy, I'll just kind of walk around. Ooh, check these out. Those are new, I haven't seen those before. Musical Nutcrackers, 99.95. And check these out. Ooh, very cool. Look at that one, so nice. You're right. Here are the ink and paint ornaments. Three Caballeros, Fantasia Mickey, Mr. Toad. Theme park, I'm mean, sorry, theme park, resort specific ornaments. Cool, cool. Very cool. Little groom and bride ornaments, mugs. Very cool. This is a very popular ornament. I know a lot of you guys like this one with the castle in it. Oh, it's just great to finally be back in here. Let's exit from the way we normally come in. Just come all the way through. All the plushes. Happy belated birthday, Donald. All right. Very cool. Ooh, look at this one. Look at this Princess Tiana. I haven't seen that one. Legacy. These are legacy sketchbooks. There's Mr. Toad. How cool is Mr. Toad? All of this. All those are very cool. Oh, these are from, from, from last Christmas. Okay. Are you guys still um, personalizing ornaments or not right now? You are. Okay. Very good. Thank you. That's why. Okay. Thank you. Well, there you go, guys. They're still personalizing ornaments. Looks like they've just kind of maybe moved the table around a little bit. Whoa. Check that out. Whoa. That is super cool. I love that one, the tree of life, it's so vibrant. I hope, I hope the camera picks up how bright and sparkly and glittery the, the tree is, it's so cool. Epcot, and what do we got here? Firehouse. Small World Ornament is really cool. This is Toontown, right? It looks like Mickey's Toontown. Look, yeah, look at the back of it. What? Oh my goodness. This is such an exciting uh, run to Disney Springs. I forgot that this store was gonna be open. I almost feel guilty, like I said, looking around too much because I know Susanna loves this store so much. We'll have to come back, do a more in-depth review. But at least we got a you know, chance to see some of the merchandise. Very, very cool. I think, thank you. I think of all of the new stuff, I am blown away by that tree of life. We got rain coming. Let's open the umbrella. Do you guys want to walk through Star Wars Trading Post? I believe the Trading Post is open. It's just so quiet. It's not a bad idea, I think, just to kind of pass through there. 
as we kind of head on back towards the uh, Deluxe Burger and Blaze Pizza. Let me, um, yeah, let's just cut through Star Wars, I guess. So this is the trading post. Now this side is exit only. Okay, very cool. Oh, Pin Traders is open too. I can see how they've got stanchions up so you can only enter from a certain way. But that's cool. Pin Traders is open running. So looks like we enter the trading post, Star Wars, on this side, right? And again, I got the umbrella open. Let me close the umbrella. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, after fighting with um, that <laughs> umbrella, we got the umbrella closed. How you doing, buddy? Hello, folks. Come on in. Thank you very much. Alrighty, here we go. I'll just let you guys just take a little, a little gander. What's new? <sighs> Look at the droid factory. I don't know that, I'm not really expecting anything new in here. Might as well just browse the mugs and the tumblers. These all look like the same. Action figure sets. This looks like A New Hope, Empire. Turn of the Jedi, I'm sure is in here somewhere. Actually, no. Okay, well. Shirts, anything new, T-wise? Doesn't really look like it. Some artwork. Okay. I believe that's, is that Last Jedi? No, that's not Last Jedi. That's um, Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, 150 for the poster. Shirts, hats, Boba Fett. Force of Strong in my family. Looking for anything that just jumps out as new. Let you guys just kind of browse. Let's see what's over here. Da -da -da. Ray's staff. Poe Dameron's X Wing. Baby Yoda. Plenty of Baby Yoda. I even have youth size in the jerseys. Very cool. Socks. More Baby Yoda. Socks. Got a lot of the tattooing spirit jerseys. Very cool. All right. Oh, I saw this shirt earlier. Actually, last time at World of Disney. Very, very cool shirt. I like this one. And I like how this one has the design and the print. Love that one. Okay. Anything on this side to gander at? FYI, this shirt is $59.99. Okay. And the leggings, too. Cool. All right. Let's head out. Here we go. Oh, that one. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. You, too. All righty. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh-huh. They're definitely doing a great job of controlling, like, you know, how you get in and out of the stores. Um, they're definitely taking counts on their mobile devices. I don't know if it's like a phone or what they're using, but on the mobile device of coming in, coming out. Now, this one was marked exit only, but that exit was closed for the time being, so we couldn't exit from that side. Okay. Now I say let's head on down and... Let's grab some food. You guys want to just walk? I'll just let the video run then. Let's open the umbrella. Y'all can see what I'm seeing. Again, not the most traditional style video that I like to do, but you know, the times are extraordinary and crazy, so enjoy the walk. I'm gonna actually catch my breath for a second because I'm breathing through this mess. Let's go. Yes, let's. Well, we can cut across the bridge. It's just such a nice view to cut out across the bridge. World of Disney out there. There's Stitch glowing. Very, very cool. Definitely see a lot of cleaning action going on, whether it's cleaning handrails. You can see cleaning the tables, wiping down the chairs. Now, part of that might be just due to it is raining. So, you know, it could be that they're just doing the cleaning because it's, you know, trying to dry stuff. But you can see how spaced out everything is, too. It's good. Character shop, you still get your characters done. Characters, I hope I'm saying that right. Whew. I'm getting better at breathing through a mask. I will say that, a little experience, getting a little better with the mask breathing, so. Coming back around, Goofy's candy. Thank you, Goofy. Look through the window at all that goody. Goodies, all the goodies inside, yum yum. Rainforest Cafe, still closed. I'm not sure. I feel like there might be an opening date for Rainforest, but not gonna lie, I don't know. Um, not 100% on that one. 
The Rista crepes, very, very good. You can smell it too, it smells great. Take a look out there, isn't that nice? Awesome view. It's just empty. <laughs> very, very quiet and empty. Boathouse. Saratoga Springs out there across the way. Very cool. All right, well, I guess I'll, uh, let, me, let me put a cut in this video here and I'll come back to you guys once we are at, I guess, Deluxe. I think I'll go to Deluxe first. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Just a little FYI for a lot of you guys, because I know how much y'all love Cooks of Dublin. Cooks of Dublin's open. It's been open for a while, but yeah, Cooks of Dublin's open. Actually, right here is where like the infamous, well, like a week or two ago, uh, the, the hot dog incident went down where some people brought their own grill, lit a fire right through that table and made their own barbecue. So FYI, that's not allowed. <laughs> Can't do that here. So don't bring a grill. Don't try to barbecue here at Disney Springs. But check it out, bars open. People look like they are having a fantastic time at the hole in the wall. Raglan Road, it's so much fun. Such a blast. Highly recommend a visit to Raglan Road, especially if you can catch some live music, some live entertainment inside. It's really, really, really cool. Gift shops open. All right. Morimoto Asia. Extremely, extremely light crowd out here. Definitely just a good day to come out here and take a little walk, get a little exercise. Um, actually, let me think here. I want to go this way because I'm trying to get over there. What, what, well, should I go to Blaze first or Deluxe first? Let's go to Deluxe. Let's go to Deluxe first. Because I may just end up doing a burger myself. She's in a really, really, really wanted the burger. Um, she's not a huge pizza person. I like pizza, although eating it late at night sometimes is not the greatest thing for me. I, some of, like a lot of you guys, you need time to digest it or whatever. So I may get a deluxe too. There it is. Look at the springs. Very cool. Looks awesome. Just kind of nice to see it empty a little bit. Sometimes when the play, we go to park, I guess, but even like Disney Springs when it's empty, you can, there's things that you might miss that you just never notice on a busy day. So. Very cool. You can see some more of the detail. <sighs> Never tried Frontera, Frontera Cucina. Frontera Cucina. Never tried Frontera Cucina. Definitely want to try it one day. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever been to Frontera Cucina? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? And speaking of that, while we're walking, um, if you're new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe. It's probably the best way to help the channel, as well as if you're enjoying this video and all of our other videos, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Comment on the video down below. Let me know, uh, are you planning to come to Disney this year? Or... Excuse me, out of breath. Is <laughs> your vacation plan still happening for 2020 in Disney, or are you just waiting till after January? But either way, restaurant's open. Take a look. Hello. Looks great. Smells good. Smells really good too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but are, let me know down in the comments. Are you planning to come on your vacation still or have you guys just pushed your vacations back till next year? Which I would fully, fully, fully understand. Um, it's tough walking around in a mask with the heat. It's a little tough, so. But anyway, coming past guest relations. Oh, wow. Well. Very cool. Looks awesome. Coming up on Deluxe. See how we're gonna do this here. I may have to put the camera away for a second just because I got an umbrella in one hand, a candy apple in one hand, and a camera, and I gotta order. I feel like it's gonna get tricky and I'm gonna do the mobile pickup. Actually, you know what? Let me grab a little rocker right here. A little rocking chair. I'll sit down and I'll do a mobile order. And I think we're just gonna do burgers. So, all right, this looks comfy. Whew. Wow, feels good to just sit for a second, catch our breath, uh, whip out the old cellular communicator. Oh, don't want to drop everything. Make sure we can, yeah, I did drop something here. That's not good. That is not good. 
Whew. All right, let's do a little mobile order for a deluxe burger. <clears throat> Give me one second, guys. By the way, something I haven't figured out yet, and I should figure it out. <laughs> I know there's a way on an iPhone to disable or something, the facial recognition so it unlocks a lot easier. Okay, let's see what we got here, um, which I haven't done yet. So when you're wearing a mask, facial <laughs> recognition doesn't work. But anyway, okay, let's see here. Mobile food order. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And I don't know that you really need to see it, but whatever. Here we go. Create a new order. We want that place right there. Deluxe, a burger. There it is. Okay. Looks like there's a wait to 725. Okay, well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna wait. Barbecue burger. A buffalo chicken. Yeah, I think y'all can read the prices. There's a barbecue burger, buffalo chicken sandwich, El Diablo, the classic burgers, which is probably all I'm gonna do. They usually, they usually have like a little twofer. You can get like a two burgers, a giant fry, two drinks or something like that. Let's see. Uh, grilled chicken sandwich for the kitties, cheeseburger for the kids, chicken nuggets for the kids. They have awesome milkshakes. Not doing a shake today though, but they do have fantastic milkshakes. Uh, wines, Chardonnay, beer. Uh, Am I missing what I'm looking for? Let's click on entrees. Classic cheeseburger. Guys, I don't see the duo. Yeah. I don't see a cheeseburger duo. That's not good. Huh. Okay, well, if we click on that, do two. A regular, oh. Okay, let's see. Got the two burgers, fries. Uh, two burgers, two fries. Modify order. Let's edit the burgers. Make sure we got them the way we want them. Customize your selection. Lettuce, tomato, onion. We can take the onion off. No thanks. I love onion, but not this late. I don't need a pickle. Burger patty. It's included. That's, that's good to know. They give you the burger patty. You don't have to pay extra for the patty. Bun is included. Thank you. Bacon. Uh, you know what? Add bacon for a dollar. Let's throw bacon on there. Update. 99 cents to add a little bacon on a burger. It's, it's worth it. Let's, add, let's do the next one. Uh, custom selection, customize, let's take the onion off. No oh, thanks, I don't even want tomato. I'll leave the lettuce. Uh, pickle I don't want either. A burger patty, let's add the bacon, add it. Update. Oof. Better be a darn good fry for $7.49. Um, before I submit this, I feel like I should just ask if they still have the, um, like the duos. These have like a duo. Let me ask real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the deal. I did go over there and confirm with the cast member. Unfortunately, they are not doing the, um, oh, my microphone's ain't caught up. They're not doing the, like, uh, the duos. Like you could get like the two burgers, the fry. Like it was pretty cool, like the little, for a couple, they're not doing like the meals for couples right now due to the limited menu. And he also said they're very limited on the sauces. That's kind of one of the things here with Deluxe. They've got all the different sauces, but right now they only have, I think he said two, like the garlic ranch and something else. So I talked to Susanna and after much uh, discussion, we've, we're have we gonna pass on Deluxe. So I'll leave this part of the video in there so you guys can at least just see like what the deal is with Deluxe right now. Um, but yeah, for us, we'll just wait till they have the, um, uh, full menu. They're running a very limited menu. That's what the cast members said. That's due to phase one or whatever that we're in right now. Yeah, I, I'm not lying. There's so much going on in the world. I forgot what phase Florida's even in at this point. <laughs> Florida's basically wide open in my opinion. I don't even know that we're in a phase anymore. I think I'm the only guy that cares about coronavirus at this point but um, in the state of Florida. But anyway, I think I'm just going to see if I can get a Blaze pizza for myself. Susanna said she's got something to eat at the house. So let's head over to Blaze. Let's see if I can get a pizza. Maybe they've got a really limited menu. I didn't even think about that. 
Hope not. Hope I can just get a basic pizza. Let me find out. Come on. Alrighty, we are coming up on Blaze Pizza. Let's see how their deal is working. Uh, here are the stanchions. You gotta get in there. Here we go. It's raining pretty good. All right, well, Blaze Pizza is a new go-to. I passed on Blaze Pizza, and I'll tell you guys why. And you may laugh, you may think I'm crazy, whatever, but the line was just too long. It was a long line to get a Blaze. I guess I, it makes sense why it might be long. It always is usually pretty busy, but I actually noticed like the line inside, it was pretty tight. People were pretty stacked up on top of each other, and. I started thinking like people are breathing over the counter where the toppings are being added to the pizzas and stuff. And not that I'm going to say it grossed me out or something. I'm laughing, by the way, under my mask. But it did like make me start thinking like, eh, I don't need a pizza that bad. So I think like Disney Springs getting food today, like a little to go. Like I know we tried the deluxe over there and the blaze, it's, it's a no go. And I think that's probably what it's going to be like for the first I don't know what couple of weeks couple of months with these theme parks and just getting out of the house like I think if you just don't feel comfortable with something don't do it it's that simple you know if you're not comfortable wearing a mask don't come to the park <laughs> don't come to Disney Springs if you're not comfortable uh, getting a pizza from Blaze because it looks like it's a little too crowded or the line is too stacked up don't go in there just have a pizza delivered it's not that big of a deal so you know you guys may some of y'all I should say some of y'all may laugh and say Steve, you're being paranoid. Just go in there. It's fine. But, you know, it's for me, I have to always weigh like risk versus reward. And for, <laughs> for a little Blaze Pizza, eh, I'll pass. So anyway, I think that's it. I'm just going to, I'm going to head out of here. I think though, as we walk out, uh, make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah. Disney uh, happily ever, happy, ever after. I always say happily ever after, but ever after is open so let's just kind of peek i'm not going to go in there sometimes they're a little funny with filming inside of that store for for their reasons and uh they prefer that you have a actual camera with a with a good focus on so you don't really capture too much too much in your lens so i'm not going to do that but yeah they actually have a security guards stationed outside of that store so yeah it's open though ever after it's open and we'll definitely come back and check it out. I'll come with a different camera that's got a, um, a zoom lens on it so I can show you guys all the cool stuff without necessarily capturing everyone else in the background, which they kind of frown upon at that store, which I don't blame them. So, but anyway, I guess then, I guess then we'll just wrap this video. I think that's a wrap. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Kind of just a little impromptu. Like I said, not gonna do a lot of editing, just kind of upload the video. Feel free to enjoy it. Um, as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe, give the video the big old thumbs up. Y'all are always asking for the best way to help us out. Well, that's the best way. Thumbs up on the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, have you been to Frontier Cucina? I know I asked that one. I got a feeling I'm not going to get a lot of answers on that. But anyway, uh, comment down below whatever you want to talk about. We always read the comments. We always try to respond. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.